Well, hello, it's Bears back. I thought we'd touch on this once more. Um, I've been trying desperately to figure it out, and uh, I'm not getting too far. <clears throat> I told a lot of the people who uh, commented on my video, which I loved every bit of it, guys, that some excellent suggestions, some great thoughts. Uh, keep it coming, you know. I mean, ever you see anything, you got a thought, write it down. I'll, I'll listen to you. I love it. Um, one of them was how close were the keys uh, in their bidding. And I thought, hey, that's a good idea. But I think they're off a little bit. Now, if you look at how this one's cut real deep here and pretty deep there, that one's really high. Uh, this one looks a lot higher than that one in the back. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to line them up as best we can for the cuts and the height of the key. As you can see right here, you got that big one right there. That's a big change. Um, and that one's a little different. And then I'm going to try to hold them together again. And you flip this. This one's deeper on that key than it is on this key. And there's a little change, I think, on the tip. One's just a, like one, one notch down. So you got at least three, three different cuts that... Um, this one's like I said deeper than this one is uh, this one's a lot that one's a lot higher than that one so you got a, at least three different cuts so that I kind of doubt it um, kind of doubt it unless something hung up you know I, I and I don't you don't see that very often or you probably never see it um, and then I thought <clears throat> um, somebody said putting it in and then turning the other one upside down well it's kind of the thought I had um, and what I my thought was is if it was possible to put you know you put this in and you put it in the wrong way um, and you shove it in here and now you're because it doesn't have a space in it now you up against there but you see how much is sticking out um, so I tried it. I put this together best I could, holding it together. Um, get it lined up. Right. Ah. So thought, anyway, I did it. I held it together real well. I think that's probably it right there. And I uh, wish I had it done that later. <laughs> uh, let's see, which key do I got? Okay. And I've got the control key and I got it locked back. So, what, uh, gum it, I got it hung up now. Um, little stanker. Get on there. I keep slipping off when I'm doing this. Um, trying to get it right where it belongs. I keep wanting to slip. But uh, I'm not going to ruin another lock trying this. Uh, shoot, I'm down too far or something. Or I've done it too much and wore it out. But uh, that's about it. Um, and stick it in and you can see how much you've got here. And I've, I've tried holding it and pushing it and turning it. Uh, to lock it in to pull the key out and then stick the other key in and what the idea was is it locked it inside pull this key out put this key in I'll show you what I'm what I was thinking let me get this one to turn a little bit now it's like that but it's locked in sorry and you t when you turn this operating key it now drops all the way in and now the keys upside down that is the only thing I could think could possibly happen but it seems impossible because when it's this way it just doesn't go in far enough um, to lock down I don't know guys but that's <laughs> That's the best I can do for an explanation of how that worked because this was in there. This was in there. It was operating the lock. 
upside down, you know. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I got for you for an explanation to this. Um, and yes, this is still a good core. I'll still use this core. Um, I got one of these. I stick it in. You know, you guys saw it. Uh, so uh, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, if you got any other ideas, you got any other comments or suggestions, feel free to leave them for me, guys. I, I love it. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, stay legal and have fun, guys. Bye.